La faccio, la, 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 la faccio poste. Sì. Everyone, welcome to the, uh, this episode of la, the last meeting of the week. Hello, hello. Um, today I'm very nervous. Today is a different episode. Uh, first of all, because we normally record on a Friday. Today is a Saturday. So that's why you're nervous? That's actually 0% of my nervousness. Uh, the nervousness is uh, due to the fact that um, during these first 10-15 episodes, we are experimenting with, uh, with a lot of things. We are actually learning by doing. Um, I think from the first to the fifth i don't want to be I, i mean i would love to be humble but um we actually i think we're getting much better and you know on the on the sixth episode we had uh antimo merone which is a michelin star chef so uh, and and i think we had a super good conversation so it was time for a test it was time for a wild card so uh, that's uh, yeah. so uh, if 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 you want to go off script and really Uh, be naked in front of your audience. You need to call Stefano Tordiglione. Stefano Tordiglione, welcome to the last meeting of the week. How are you doing? Thank you for um, And uh, we're going to see what this conversation uh, takes us. Normally, we do a script, and I told you, you know, what do you want to talk about? And you told me, I don't want to talk about anything scripted. And I said, mm. at the beginning, I said, oh, fuck. But then I thought it was a very, it's going to be a very nice exercise. Um, and we're going to start, actually... Um, Just to get things a little bit more interesting, um, I'm going to use one of the mezcal from, the, from uh, our fantastic sponsor, uh, Why Not? We have a sponsor. And that you have a sponsor already? We do. From the first episode, is Why Not? Um, that's whynot.com.hk. Um, they give uh, to our listeners 5% discount if they, used, uh, if they use the code LASTMEET, L-A-S-T-M-E-E-T, on checkout. And they have everything. They have spirits, they have wine. Small. Um, and we did this on the first uh, episode um, with Guido Balboa, and it gave us. Well, that's too much laugh. for me. I'm gonna get drunk, and then I'm not. <laughs> then we can do we can then do second can round. Wild. Then we can do second round and third round. Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Stefano, there you go. Oi, bravo. Um, oh, mm. No, no, not like that. How was the week, Stefano? No, first <coughs> my, my week, not interesting. Why? I don't know. I'm in a moment of, um, you know, those old uh, rich ladies married to rich men, so they're rich not because they worked. Okay. And they want to know what their future is going to be. Actually, no, that's too much, maybe. How are you rich? How, how rich are so you? No, exactly. So uh, th that's the, 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 the idea. So I'm not rich, but I have that attitude, though. I'm trying to do courses in cello courses in Peng Shui. Yeah. But you're living the life. So why, I mean, at the end of the day, that's... <sighs> living the life, I don't know. So yeah. What is the difference between a fisherman that is extremely poor on a beach in Brazil and a millionaire fishing uh, on the same beach? They're exa doing exactly the same you, thing. You found this on Facebook? Probably, yes. <laughs> and seven <laughs> years ago. <laughs> exactly. Um, <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't know. Let's uh, let's uh, let's start from the beginning. So, what do we talk about, uh, Stefano? You, you you said you you we, we don't script today. And today, I because I am very honest with my guests, I follow. It, this is your show. It's not my show. Um, we're gonna talk about whatever whatever you you want. Um, let's start from the beginning. Mm. Inside the box or outside the box? Well, inside and outside. But I want to know first of all. Yes. So. You said it's my show, right? So, yes. Fernando, um, why, I mean, why do you have to have a script? I mean, what, what kind of script you would have done today? So, there is not everyone is used to being in front of the camera. Um, and I'm in front of, of you, not a camera. But you're actually in front of three yeah. cameras. Uh, but it's not, but good that you feel that you are in front of me. No, um, No one is no one. No one. Number one. No one is um, 
is is uh, is super used to talking in front of the camera sometimes when you don't have a list of certain things that you want to talk about um, you forget significant points that you might touch uh, s achievements that the person in front of you would like to talk about because at the end of the day um, content uh, needs to be useful we have mm -hmm. a lot of content in the world um, and the point of this conversation yes is for our personal leisure and pleasure but it's also for the people that is in front of us to maybe you 100%. know make a point and then share with the with the network and so on uh content is actually expensive to, to come about as you know um and so this is like kind of like a gift like a hippie gift to our guests we we make them come here we enjoy the conversation we establish the relationship and then in exchange they they get the they get the content and in order for that content to probably cover the things that they like the most um it's good to have some things scripted so we i mean i do know some things i want to talk to you about but okay. I, but i wanted to style to, to start wild card um because <laughs> i think i think you, you you i i can take the best out of you in that way oh that's nice i want to be provoked in a way provoked to me but if you want to take the best out of me, just provoke me, provoke me. And um, yeah, I'm happy to reply. But it's really nice that you say that I'm a wild card. The other day I was telling a friend of mine that I was 20 and this guy that was younger than me, he said, oh, you know, you are so good. It's like a loaf of bread. You're such a good person, such a loaf of bread. I was like, <laughs> I took it as an insult. <laughs> <laughs> can you imagine and instead it's not it's it's not right no it's nice to be good but then now that you tell me that i'm wild i like that a uh, little salmon yeah like I, 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 I would i would love to meet the person that said that you were a loaf of bread um no i see you totally the, I, I i i see you I as, a, as a misfit i see you as a misfit and you want to be a rebel and that's and that's and that's. I want to be a rebel. No, it's it's unsettling, but but for me when I talk to you, but but it's fun at the same time. So you are the one that wishes maybe to be more a wild. You said you were before. Ah no no I, I mean uh, eh, the the problem is I don't have time anymore to be wild to be a wild card anymore. In psychology, uh, it's called projection. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's literally time management. It's literally time management. Uh, so, all of, uh, w when when all of my friends now, especially you know my producer. By the way, I, I today I'm, I'm I am myself being a wild card. I haven't done anything. I haven't introduced my the engine of this podcast, Filippo Sebastian. That after it, he came. Normally he comes extremely elegant uh, from Napoli. You know, Sestreria Napolitana, <laughs> uh, the, the brand ambassador of of, of elegance and, and good sense. And today I have him here uh, in shorts, Nike shoes, very unlike him, but that's because he's, gonna, he's going to Shifu meets. And I'm not, because I don't have time. So that's a big problem. I would have been a wild card this afternoon if it wasn't because of, uh, of uh, you know, I have uh, clients in the, in the city. There is the Hong Kong um, electrical component exhibition. So uh, there is a lot of things going on. Um, but I think being a wild card is good. Uh, that's why scripting ourselves is 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 uh, if you if we want to be functional, it's useful. Uh, but every now and then, you just we just need to just let the hair, uh, you know, be one with the wind okay. and enjoy. Um, Stefano, what are you up right now? So we haven't we haven't seen each other mm. because you know I I thought you know he he's not paying attention to me uh, and then you come here it's like you know you are strong so you you, you haven't called me so um, what 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 has been your life? I, I met you last time that you were about to go back to Italy uh, and you were going to be there for an indefinite uh, period of time. What happened since I met you last time? Well, okay, first of all, I, um, I said yes to this because I felt a little guilty with you as well because we did a video together in, in my channel for other things and it didn't come out well for audio. So ah. the sound was really not good. I think this at least is going to be good for 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 sound. I don't know the content, but you know the sound, <laughs> my content. But and um, so it was a long time ago. It's a, over a year that I haven't been publishing anything. Um, why? Because pandemic was a little bit harsh on me, mm -hmm. subtly uh, harsh. So I wasn't really sick. I mean, yes, I had COVID last year, but it went okay for three days. 
uh, I'm not even being vaccinated, so it was it's okay, because it was not the first COVID, right? So being stuck in Hong Kong with COVID, with uh, not being able to travel, is like being stuck in Ischia. Ischia is an island outside Napoli. You know, it's like you're stuck there. Actually, no, I wish, because at least Ischia, it's you can do things that are beautiful around here. What you do, and then plus in Hong Kong, you don't really go around. Hmm. Uh, what shopping malls? You do your trails. I've been. Mean, I don't know. Yeah, there is only so much Hong Kong that you can do. Exactly, and then it's not that interesting. I'm I'm a nature person, sure, but not really. So I was stuck in the house. Depressed? No, I'm not a depressed person. Uh, I tend never to do this. In fact, I, I, I did videos. You know, I invented this spray that you know was. uh, I was a little chemist in my own studio and was distributing and selling them. So that's I don't know if you remember that I was doing that. I, Are I, you there already? No. No, 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 no. I I, th- I think I think um, we really stopped seeing each other. I don't remember remember why. Yeah, but I think uh, it's a couple of years ago. Eh, hey, at least a year and a half. Yes. Yeah. So yeah, because I stopped publishing uh, a year, year and a half ago. Anyways, um, are you are you coming back? Well, no. let's see how this goes. This wild card. So, anyways, why did you come back story. to Hong Kong? Well, I didn't really leave Hong Kong. Huh? Now I made a decision this year, the beginning of the year, to cut costs, but cut over overheads. They're called. I call them weights, like okay. you know, psychological and practical weights. Mm-hmm. So money, responsibilities. Uh, yeah, I don't want any responsibilities anymore. So it goes back to the the lady rich, which I'm not. And we're not a lady as well. But, you know, I like the the comparison. But but the thing is, um, yeah, I'm trying to to see and to to go into what the truth of life is. I'm 58, and it looks like uh, it sounds like a, a a horror movie mixed with a science fiction movie. Why? So when, when people introduce themselves to me, and like, how old are you? Like 50, 50. I'm already. Oh, this, this guy is you know, half dead already. <laughs> <laughs> no of course but uh, statistically but statistically m- many of my friends are with kids separated of course divorced you know who who's together in relationships do you want to talk about relationships we can talk about relationships we but cannot, let's, 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 no, <laughs> we no, cannot no 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 we, absu- <laughs> we, uh, we absolutely can and I think we should um, but I, I want to go into into that line of narrative that you're taking everyone I'm is really dead after 50 with this you look fantastic. <laughs> you look fantastic. I am the one. I am the one who chose actually the, the shirt in the wrong way because I I realized that in my podcasts I always wear the same shirt, so I wanted to change today. Oh, um, okay. Why is everyone dead at fifty? No, everyone is not dead at fifty. Everyone is whomever they want to be. They can be, and they chose to be. If there is a tra- there's a choice in life, real because I don't believe in real choices, and that people can argue a lot. Because I think we are structured in a way uh, with our subconscious that talks, mm-hmm. that is really our truth. And so that's the choice that we make, the choice that we make, um, going towards our subconscious. Because we don't talk to our subconscious. So my, my, my goal in life is to become one. Am I becoming too heavy with this conversation? Is don't, 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 don't. Don't be self-conscious here. I think you're oh, doing. I think you're I'm doing. Self-conscious. I'm sweating. I think I'm you're. Fat. D- I think you're doing fine. <laughs> this air conditioning that's not really working well. I don't know. Filippo, can you pass me the the, the, <laughs> no, the control of the of this one? I'm gonna put this at 17 degrees. <laughs> no, it's don't. You, aren't you hot? Look, I'm sweating. No, no, hold on a second. Hold it's on. It's me. Second. Oh, because I'm nervous <laughs> because of this thing in front of my mouth, my, my my yeah, my face. No, but it's good. It's uh, it's it's called uh, in boxing. It's called uh, ring rust. When when a fighter hasn't been in a bo- uh, fighting for for quite a bit, they have ring rust. But it it it, uh, it uh, I think you're right though it, because it, I feel sorry. It, it 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 falls off after a couple of rounds. So you know I think in a couple of minutes you'll be you'll be back in shape. No, I I, I think you're absolutely right uh, because there's a formality on this. Yes, which I'm not used to anymore. But uh, that I do like it though because I'm forced to do to 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 saying and doing something. Anyways. Please. Leave anyone with the subconscious. I think you're. To- I think you're totally right. I think it's super important, and um, maybe COVID was uh, for some people a deal breaker, for some people a deal maker in the sense that who survived psychologically. This is my theory. Mm-hmm. Um, became stronger. 
uh, it was heavy for everyone. Like it really, everyone had problems at some level of or, or other during COVID. You know, family members passing away, <laughs> losing jobs, <laughs> uh, yeah. just uh, realizing that. Uh, for example, w- one of the biggest tragedies is the number of divorces happening after COVID because people don't fucking realize that you cannot you, you, you cannot examine your life with another person uh, based on three years in which you spend way too much time with them. Uh, you need to put a parenthesis at the beginning of COVID and then at the end and saying that's a weird time. What does that tell you though? That living together with a person is not natural. I disagree. I disagree completely. But you just cannot spend too much time with them. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's like no. For for example, no, 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 no. Centra, centra. For example, in design, uh, and I, I'm going to take this to in design the because design, design. Ah, uh, design. Yeah, in design. Um, <laughs> before before COVID, we we would have spent in our homes two three hours a week, like functional two three hours. So pretty much anything, you know, uh, we could. People would focus on luxury, on showing off, on shiny things, uh, metal things, uh, artificial products, things that were not organic. Then what I notice now in the trends, even in color palette, in the shapes and everything, is that now we're going to more natural colors, beige, earthy, uh, rusty. uh, And in shapes, we're going to more organic because we started we started spending 16 hours which is eight times what's the time that we normally spend at home with our couple is the same like if for example i spend uh, with my wife three hours a day i mean i have a special good relationship with my wife but let's say for everyone you spend a couple of hours a day everyone is kind of okay unless you're an asshole she's an asshole you're just not meant to be together <laughs> but if but if but if you spend 24 for three months in a row i would hate myself I, I, if I, that's if an I, issue if no no no. i think everyone that is a I'll little bit honest could say mm. say if i clone myself and i live with myself for 24 hours i would love myself and you, can i tell you something yes this thing of the pandemic it actually made me realize how i really get along with myself seriously that's so good. my only thing was work and because work, you know, everything stopped. And especially a design, who the fuck wants to design a house or a shop that are closed. So I was the first one to get, you know, like a pause for almost three years, mm-hmm. which financially is not a good thing, right? Um, but I, I really get along well with myself. And I don't think it's natural to be with another person. I'm sorry. Why is that? Because it's not natural to be in the same place with another person in general. So... What you are doing, not you, but I'm saying in general, l- seeing another person for three hours, oh, we get along so well. That's bullshit. No, it's not. Of course it is. Look, I've been with people, huh? Yeah, me too. Uh, like living as well together, which so is why? great. It's why great, it's, it's fantastic, but you have to understand that it's a, it's, a, it's a huge job, first of all, if you want things to go on. Mm-hmm. Most of my friends are separated or going to be divorced some no some do have a wonderful relationship but i don't believe in the in truth in that truth is you have to get along with yourself extremely well and then maybe you can relate to another person that on its own has to be a person that relates to himself or herself well okay yes in on I agree with the second part. I don't agree with the first one. I, <laughs> I, 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 because I believe that as much as I have grown on libertarian intellectual uh, beliefs, I, I shouldn't Why say. I, I shouldn't Why libertarian? say. Libertarian means um, having the freedom of the individual as the main principle that drives your your moral and your ethics. No. Um, oh, wait, wait, wait! You're confusing. Being being on, on your own and having the, the perception of you, it's one thing. Mm-hmm. Then having, you know, uh, a- a- ideas or t- choices you can make with another person, of course you can. Yes. Uh, but you have, to be, you have to be a whole with yourself. Yes, no, but I was th- 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 where I was going was that I told you this was going to be a wild card. Uh, what um, what uh, I mean, even if you have the most libertarian ideas, the institution of marriage, and for marriage, I understand the association of two people, regardless of the sex they have and uh, whatever. 
but just the association of two people that it just makes life better it is true that in, or, in order in order for it to work each one needs to have needs the everyone needs to be accountable for their own relationship with themselves um have yes. their their subconscious clean and being <laughs> subconscious clean it's a it's a it's a it's impossible but anyways okay no, but clean is a process. It's like it's like but Fidel clean. Castro. A revolution is so it's Castro. something dynamic. <laughs> it's, it's not it's not an end on itself. Fidel it's Castro. But Fidel Castro was had an idea, had a, his own thing, and of course, whatever whomever went with him, uh, he they had to agree with what he was thinking. But anyways, revol revolution revolution is something that that is is a uh, it gerundio. It's a, it's, it's, it's a process. It's a process. It's, it's not an end. It's a process. Revolution Why is a process. About revolution? Because it's, being in peace with the subconscious is the same. It's not possible because, but it's an attitude. No, because you don't know your subconscious. That's why. You cannot. You cannot deal with something you don't know. You uh, you wish you knew. You would be a much how better person, but not not you. How do you know? I don't know. But not you. You, I don't know. <laughs> I don't think you are in contact that much, but it's fine. Maybe you have, because we don't know each other that well. Okay. But I believe in relationships a lot. Okay. I don't believe in, like, co-living in the same space. I don't think it's very natural. I do like the co-living eventually. Eventually, yes. What, what is, what is so the ideal relationship? For me, friendship for me, for example, it's a huge, uh, fantastic way of relating with the other, no? Mm -hmm. People that you were saying, stopping in the streets and talking. Oh my God, I love that. My clients, my I do design. I think I decided to do design because I really like people. So the thing that I like most probably is the relationship. Mm -hmm. So I am a relationship person. What is the ideal relationship for you? The ideal relationship? Yes. Bah, una comune. Of so how many people? Oh, no, I don't know because then I would hate everyone anyways. <laughs> Uh, let's 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 go a little bit in the subconscious die. Um, <laughs> the, the only really want to go there. Yes, I want. I really want to go there. The you only think people are interested. I don't know, but you are. You were interested. You care. The only thing. That uh, so we don't care about others. We care about us. Nice. Exactly. We start. Oh, we are here in the room. That's we're why your room. wife loves you. Then. I. Honestly, we have to ask her first. Uh, let's 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 maybe let's maybe not today. Let's maybe ask her another day. Um, <laughs> so wh when I when I ask her, Stefano. <laughs> When I asked Stefano about about the uh, you he know if he Stefano. wanted to if he wanted to say something, he said no, and then he sent me this picture and said it's like I oh made my God. I made this symbol. Let's talk about this symbol. Oh wow! Well. So okay. I'm coming out here. Mm. Yes. So uh, I think okay, so for let's okay, first me. of all, I just said something coming out. Coming out for me is uh, a word that is generally um, expressed for people that. Uh, love their same sex, no? So gay yes. people have to come out. For me, it's bullshit this thing because I think people should come out in general. Right? Okay. So a person that, okay, for me, relationships have to be clean. You used a, a word "clean" for your subconscious, which I think we can talk about it l later. But th this actually, we can we can go with this because this is what is the this subconscious. Stefano? Wait. Why did you do this? Wait. So the thing important is coming out. It's a must that every person has to do in life. Mm -hmm. Coming out as a person, who you are, and that's the relationship with your subconscious. Because gay people, in this case, right, mm -hmm. they're forced to do something which I totally disagree because it's something extremely intimate, right, and sexual, which who cares about, you know, how you make love with your wife or, or him with whomever he wants. I don't care. I mean, yes, I can ask you, but it's a private thing, right? I, I agree or how, or I agree how do you or how do you shit if you want to know I have those one of those things that you know I cannot deal I, I, I live I live also I can live without the information no no it's interesting actually <laughs> people should know <laughs> the thing what's it called the the step because it goes like your natural way of uh, the squat so the natural way of uh, going to the bathroom once you discover that it's like you cannot go back <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, it's interesting. <laughs> so the same thing you should go do with your subconscious and come out. Okay. Huh? Nice uh, association with the squat and the coming out and okay. your subconscious. Yes. <laughs> so. Bye, 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 bye. Bye. Today's wild card. Today's wild card. I have the recording. Um, we associate the idea of coming out with um, 
non-heterosexual people and expressing their identity. Mm. What is for for humanity instead? What is what, what is the concept of coming out? How do we know that we are not already out of the closet? At what point do we block them out of the cocoon? So first of all, it's not out of the closet. It's out of um, out of the constrictions, out of the, that box that he was saying before, you know, in or out of the box. We all, all tend to do things that our culture teaches us, right? We can go into like very dangerous zone route to, to talk, you know, like, you know, in the areas of the world that is a disaster right now. There's always been a disaster. They try to be better, but I don't think the coming out has been done in, in many many areas because we are influenced and we we live our lives um, based on the culture that we were born so you if you were born in India you would be not the same person similar maybe but not the same person and I believe as well if you were born in Israel you would have been totally different right or um, I don't know in Africa or in South America it's totally different and so first of all we should eliminate religions and politics but that's that's impossible it's like him saying that we have to do our subconscious clean um so the coming out is really the connection to go more into like the the micro world which is more interesting so each one of us so it's not about humanity it's about each one of us has to make that effort of really touching that deep deep thing that makes you feel the real belonging to yourself and when you touch that little very powerful dot that you have inside you cannot go back anymore like the squat the well a religion of course of course we are but at the same time we are unique because of that um uh, of that dna i i don't know because i'm not a scientist i just go i just go with my intuition that always helped me and with myself, the moment that I know that I that I do things uh, because I feel that uh, knowledge and that feeling of belonging and being true to my real identity, I'm super strong and I can do whatever I want, which doesn't mean that I'm strong, that I can fly or like beat uh, Hulk. Would you, ha would you have been able to... to fulfill all of this potential that you have inside you if you stayed in Italy? Huh, or, or that's a nice question. Or, or do you think that moving out 10,000 kilometers away enabled you to do this? Mm. So I, I think that I talk about me, okay? Mm -hmm. so I have, since I was little, this thing that I need to come out as a person as what I want to do, how I want to do. If you constrain me to doing something, I can become... Like I was saying, Hulk, I can become even stronger than Hulk, which, you know, at least in my imagination. But um, probably I would have come out uh, just the same. But here they, it, it gave me a potential that I wouldn't have had in Italy. What, I'm, what I mean by this is that I, I, in my case, um, I I I do feel the same. I think I I I I can relate to exactly what you what you mentioned. When you live all your life in one place, mm. I come from a town that is two hundred thousand people, which is literally nothing. Every kind of everyone knows each other, or at least you you've seen kind of everyone. Um, you, uh, if you live after eighteen, twenty, twenty five in the same place, you live when you were fifteen, twelve, eleven. You have the the luggage that you have. The the backpack the backpack full of heavy stones that you have disables you for from for you know exploring all of all of the depths of your personality. For me, it was especially important moving away mm -hmm. far yeah. and being able to reinvent myself almost from from tabula rasa from zero. You're never tabula rasa, but anyway. You are never tabula. Yeah, I know. Don't be so picky. But oh. but this but it's but you but you it's know but you know what what you know what I mean. I, it was a, it was almost a total clean slate, and I keep on cleaning the old part and just to leave room for 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 newer part that I like better. Um, but 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 I th I think it's I think it's super important. Uh, when uh, so, did you feel 
more free when you moved uh, away from Italy or this let's say explosion of, of personality happened well mm. while you were in Italy no 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 personality forget it I'm always like very open I'm very sometimes I can be invasive but it's about age as well huh? what do you mean oh, the, when you grow you grow up and you you unless you're deficient eh? <laughs> cretin, cre- cretin, cretin, cretin no. uh, uh, how do you how do you pronounce cretin because yeah, cretin. Cretin, cretin. Uh, cretin it's not nice you know because actually cretin uh, it's cretinism a, it's, it's an illness. a natural illness uh. yeah so if you are deficient i think deficient means that you are you lack of something right both are politically incorrect we're gonna deficient with no i think deficient people are deficient in many <laughs> ways you know <laughs> like you know deficient in culture deficient in knowledge deficient in uh some so some people are deficient even in in b- b- brain capacities which is okay otherwise we would be all the same mm-hmm. i'm not that great i i know i'm a deficient in many aspects of life don't beat yourself up come on no 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 it's true but 100% otherwise we would be all einstein and i'm sure he was deficient in other areas no yeah, anyways sir. going back uh, i i think it's interesting what you said about the um, the cleansiness of your subconscious because that's how you perceive that and you just said it you want to do tabula rasa which i don't think it exists but you want to clean that part in order to shine and see that thing in order to come out as much as possible which you know you will maybe you have done maybe you will do i don't know no I, it's, it's not you understand it's not, what it's i'm it's saying it's, it's not that so I w- it's not that i want to it's that i enjoy the chance to do it uh you know in in there are you know you can come out in the sense that you mentioned it in many different ways sexually um you can yeah, come that's out that's very you s- can come out also in a, in, in in breaking up with the emotional um heritage that you get from your family Bravissimo. meaning you can stop being an angry person or a confrontational person and become and become more uh, and in start to embrace uh, the people that surround you this for example for me was actually it is something like I realize I'm getting be- ever better. Better. L- being always less angry and less confrontational. Nice. Um, so, I, it's but, but, and this is what I meant, w- this is where, you know, where I was going with the question or the background of the question. If I had stayed in my hometown, I wouldn't have been like this. I would have still been an angry, uh, more aggressive person. Oh, no, I, I'm becoming quite angry now. Why? Again, I think it's about age because you don't care about any, any, any more about people to be pleasant or to to be liked by others i really don't give a shit what do Maybe you, ca- what do do, you care about really. what do you care about now what, what are your dreams to now? be to be at 50 to at 58 what are your dreams <sighs> 58 my god okay i'll tell you a little story and then if, th- if they're gonna watch me they don't even speak english but i'll translate for them so i bought this little house uh, outside of rome in a country house right mm-hmm. in country country uh, in the countryside so that's one of my dreams that became true and when i saw it i saw this little house i I, I will reply to your question after so this little house that i used to draw when i was five so when i saw it's like fuck i'm gonna have to get this house which i wanted to make an investment is not an investment but i love it it's like my my girlfriend so i have a girlfriend yes it's that house with a boy's name casarello that's kind of perv, right? Well, anyways. Yeah, it's normally house have feminine names. Why did you change that? Casarello. No, oh, because, you know, because I'm... Um, because I like the idea that my girlfriend can be a guy too. Okay. Nice, no? Yeah. But I, don't, uh, but I like separation of sexes anyways. Not the combined. I'm not, I'm not pro. We can go back to that later. Let's, 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 let's follow your dream. But that we don't care, right? Let's so follow your dream. The nice thing is... Yes. The p- previous owners were some uh, farmers of that area, right? Mm-hmm. I stayed very close friends, and I always say that they are my second family. Mm-hmm. Um, culturally, we're different. We d- they don't speak English. When they they see the pictures of Hong Kong, they're like, "Oh, okay, wow, we d- could never live there." You know, we're really happy there. We are here, and I do understand them, no. And so one day, uh, the 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 wife so a powerful wife said um so what are you going to do with this house i was like oh i don't know you know i want to plant more olive trees because i have trees and fruits and things i have six hectares of land so i was like okay i want to plant trees i want to put the oils and maybe i want to do the olive oil and maybe this and maybe that and maybe sheep and this and i was like fantasizing you know and she's like mm, nice but can i ask you questions like yeah how long are you gonna live no how long <laughs> do you think you're gonna live 
Fuck, I said. Ma vaffanculo. But you know, she's right. She's absolutely right. So that's what maybe the anger comes from. It's like, fuck. I don't have that, you know? So I have to be more at peace with that. Maybe. So maybe it's that. I really don't know yet because part of me is really calm. Part of me is like, I can die tomorrow. Do I have regrets? Can I ask myself a question? No, I don't. So I think that's a nice clean, because okay. I like that word. How long do you think you, you're going to live? Look, I don't know. Um, you give me anxiety. No, <laughs> no, I don't want to give you anxiety. Actually, no, I, I don't know. I, I really I, don't know. I'll share with you something. I, I, I want to live forever in the sense that I want to leave my um, legacy, which I'm learning to understand now because I don't have children, which, you know, m who knows, maybe I will one day. You never say never. But that's not the main goal. Um, I'm actually happy that I don't have them. Do I have regrets not having them? No. Hmm. Uh, I would have that responsibility now that I don't need. Um, so, yeah, legacy is like, I think, is like one of the most amazing things. And from actually, I was telling him before about this podcast of uh, nihilism, so with Nietzsche mm -hmm. and all the destroyment and why people and adolescents don't have. A, a, a reference in this moment, right? Uh, because, for example, religion in the past, I don't know, 60, 100 years, was the main reference. you got to do the family, you have to believe in God, you have to follow this, you have to work. Blah, 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 blah. And they don't have that anymore because God is dead, it's a bullshit thing, you know, I don't think God exists, but if it exists, it's us. So, I took it really long, but anyways, um, where I was going with this? I was, I was, I was. Wait, no, because it's. Interesting. I was enjoying getting lost in your, in your, in your, in your uh, narrative line. Um, Help me. Ah, bravo. So he was saying, okay, you know what? I think that even if religion is not there, which if for me it should be abolished. So Marx said religion and culture, right? I'm not a Marxist, but. Religion and culture should be abolished. Let's let's uh, we we are touch. I need I need to start taking notes yes, too because there he's saying so many things I really want to talk. Uh, what? Let's let's leave Marxism for the next question. No, no wait, but let's I'm go not about to say wait. So to eliminate these <laughs> things is really important. So, what is left? It's the cycle of things. Okay. Cycle of things means today is what, the twenty eighth of October, right? Two thousand twenty three. And it's autumn, in the middle of autumn. And then in two months, it's going to be winter. Maha nice, no? And then it's going to be spring, and then summer. And then what? Autumn again. And that's what real life is. This is why legacy is to leave that tree that maybe is going to grow and grow and grow. And then, you know, maybe in a hundred generations, when you don't exist anymore, not even in the memory of things, but that tree still exists. Hmm. So you're part of that tree. And that makes me very emotional. It is. I think. It's, I think. Look, the relationship with with our own existence. I think um, is a key turning point for a, for a personal happiness. One of the key moments of my life was when I was 20, 22, 23. Um, I got diagnosed with um, uh, how to say uh, autoimmune disease. Um, and I was fucking scared shitless. I think you told me that. Yeah, and, and that was the moment in which I had made peace with death. Uh, mm. And I felt extremely light after that. And uh, the way I approach life and I take risks, I mean, I don't jump out of a window, but there are if, if you follow all of my decision making throughout life, normally it's quite daring. And sometimes, you know, I get hit in the face, but more times I get rewarded. Um, that's due to the fact that I made peace with the fact that my life is limited in a certain way. Then fast forward uh, another decade, I am um, I, I, I have a lot of tattoos even though today I'm not showing them. And <laughs> the girlfriend of what the tattoo artist that you know was my my resident tattoo artist when I was living in Bangkok, uh, she passed away at 31. Um, and I felt extremely, extremely, extremely touched because you know we were very good friends. You know when someone passes away very, very early, I mean I get emotional now. Um, and the day after, the day, the way I feel uh, the day after is I need to just enjoy every minute of this day. 
Mm-hmm. The problem is that f- humans, we forget about this stuff. So th- one w- week later, you cannot forget and you get into the same shit. So instead of being anxious, you know what I do? And uh, some people think this is creepy, uh, but in my phone, <laughs> I have I have a, I have a counter. I put my death of, what? of the days I, st- I have until I die. But how do you know when you die? I approximate. I oh, so you're going to kill yourself then? No, I approximate. approximate. I think I, 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 but I that's a bullshit you find in the internet. No, I... What I I, okay, I made what it age? myself. I what age? What age are you gonna it's die? It's a, tell, it's tell us. It's a bullshit. I so made. what? What age? Uh, I said, okay, l- I want to have a target that is uh, um, <laughs> ambitious but not over ambitious, realistic but not over ambitious, a little bit modest. So I said seventy. Uh, that's eh? that's kind of young though. What kind of young? Seventy is extremely good number. Uh, are you serious? Tr- me dying in twelve years? Are you fucking kidding me? No, no. you can choose ninety. I choose seventy for me. Yeah, Say, no. we are all individuals. I think this. Okay, give we'll talk later after this podcast, give and I'll give you some other advice. Give yourself okay? an extra twenty years, but I'm okay with seventy. How old y- are you? Thirty-six. You're not okay with seventy. Trust me. In any is. case. Stefano, let me get my so fucking we talk point. About, we're talking about through. deficiency. Right. Let me get my fucking point <laughs> through. Um, <laughs> Ha, seen every day and I, I don't pay attention every day but sometimes even yesterday I looked at it and I'm like fuck you know how many days I would have left I, I would yes, if I yes, died yes. it's less than 12,300 it's and little it doesn't sound like so many days and knowing that I'm going to be limited pushes me every day to enjoy to do things to be daring to to get out of the box to s- to, 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 to to overcome <laughs> my fears so I think um, you should be f- ever more free now that so you're 58. Okay. That, uh, no, 58. So it's almost 60. That's, that's a fucking bummer. Anyways, you, if that works for you, I think it's great. I don't agree with this because it's, um, you're going you, you're gonna to see, you're going to find other ways, but it's fine. Um, no, I, I was saying, though, something that it allows me to live even until now. So now I'm going to die... <coughs> a heart attack in front of this microphone and it's okay because everything you know legacy is going to go because i'm trying to do in that what she said how long you're going to live she said it in a way but i took it more of a philosophical way which maybe it's 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 hidden in that practical sense so yes i want to leave trees you know imaginary trees people that i've met if i die today for sure you're going to remember this podcast if it's nice or not if you publish it or not we still have had this uh, emotional intercourse which is i think is great no no i I mean that's that's the whole point of the podcast that's what you uh, asked at the beginning but uh, you didn't tell us what did you reply to her emotional intercourse that's nice you can call this emotional intercourses that should be you should rename your your channel i think it would be a better name a a matter of life and design or a matter of emotional intercourses I would say just emotional intercourse. I think it's more direct. Filippo, okay. what do you say? I say that this podcast is going to call it an emotional intercourse with Stefano. Bravo, <laughs> bravo, bravo. <laughs> bravo. Oh, one thing. That's w- why you pay me, right? To come up with a new year. Oh, exactly. you pay him? <gasps> no, no, Che. We, we are going to be millionaires <laughs> with this podcast. That's what. In that's the future. In oh, the future, okay. yes. Um, w- but what did you say to that woman when, you, when, when she asked you? I said about Fanculo. You said Bafanculo. I said, said Bafanculo, but no, you're fucking true. right. Okay. Mm. Mm. I love that family, can actually. We, can Hi. Can um, all of them. Oh, okay. Uh, can let's go back to so this because <laughs> you, le- you left us a little bit hanging uh, with, with, uh, with the biphallic uh, symbol. Well, it looks like a vagina, too. <laughs> and we can talk about that after the podcast if you want. It's a very botero, <laughs> but it's a, it's, a, it's a vagina as no, per botero. No. Oh my God, botero. Peace, a la sua anima. He just died, actually. Yes, I know. Uh, ah, yeah, because you're Spanish, but he's Colombian. He's Colombia, which is better. South American is always better. Oh, um, look, uh, this is a very... We have to do a podcast on this. Do you re- how do you want me to be short? Okay, I... Vi- okay. I, 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 you 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 like started you started talking today, <laughs> like be, being very confrontational about being out of the box, inside the box, be outside the box. The, you have no, no limits. Don't talk to me about. I'm, uh, look, I'm not in the box. I'm not outside the box. <laughs> I am the box. Okay, <laughs> so just think that. So, 
So I'm the fucking box full of things, and then if you open that box, oh, you're gonna find many things. But this anyways. is going to be this is going to be a short. Uh, I am the fucking box. Is going to be a short. I think we should make merch. If 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 we have if we have uh, I'm the fucking box. Yeah, you're the fucking box. Yeah, let's uh, do let's do a merchandise uh, like you know, inside the box, outside the box. No, I am the fucking box, which is true. Okay, well, well, okay, you so are the, you are the this box. This came out of the box of my box. Um, how how can I? Okay, first of all, I gave it a name because you know people need to box things, right? Okay. So this has to be put in a box, otherwise people are like, "What the fuck is this thing?" Um, so it's the acronym UMO, which means Unidentified Moving Object. Okay. I actually saw these things. I saw these things moving. Um, I visioned them. Yeah, you might think that I'm a I'm a crazy person or deficient in some way as well maybe i am but you, did you take I anything just or just were no you, were no, you no 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 i didn't take anything so it was all endogenous or oh, was egg was exot was exogenous come cazzo how you say it but it was outside because i saw them no i mean i mean the substances that you had in your brain were but i think they were there that's the difference okay so you're trying to put everything you know i'm just trying to 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 to, to poke you in the eye which uh, is what you do no. to me. So I did <laughs> so I did see these things and um they were moving and then I heard a sound as well and I was on a beach and I saw these two people the, a couple I wonder what happened to that couple for sure they separated. <laughs> so I asked I was like excuse me do, do you have a pen? Do, do, you, do you do you see that? I didn't say it, but I was like pointing a bit shy which I am, believe it or not, my way. And I had to draw it on the newspaper. Okay. Because I was afraid of forgetting them. Mm -hmm. And so after that, I started in 1999, so when Photoshop was like Photoshop 2. Okay. Um, to work on these and putting them in pictures. And making them move. And making movies. And movies, I mean videos art videos and I came out with art with these and I pursued the art uh, road for some time okay so what are these it came to me after uh, what they are I mean I had nightmares them penetrating in me in my chest okay uh, with no pain, but it was like, yeah, this this is my subconscious, I think. But I tried to give it a universal meaning. So I started studying, um, okay, what I feel is that they are the two, the two um, ex extremes, mm -hmm. they are all the opposites that we live in, right? So male and female, good and bad, light and darkness and all like that no like uh the manichaeism manichaeism mm -hmm. was like this right and then um that's botero sides stomach i call it that's where the truth is in the middle mm -hmm. i always think that in the middle is the truth of everything there's no extremes the extremes are part of our life. It's part of our percorso, our journey. Mm -hmm. It's part of our um, finding out. But then the truth is always in the middle. Is it a point or a range? Mm, look at you. I get better after the second <sighs> shot of mezcal. Eh? Um, could be the point for some experiences. It could be the range. Mm -hmm for maybe long term mm -hmm. right so i believe as well that uh when i see it i get really emotional okay so accelerating to the meaning of it i discovered that uh lucretius in the rerum natura mm -hmm. he was describing the atoms you know the book um like this mm -hmm. and i don't have that here otherwise i could uh, i could show you and of course, you know, I was very emotional <laughs> with that. And then my a master that I follow, Reiki, because I, I, I took Reiki, um, 
he said this is a healing symbol. Mm-hmm. So whomever is going to have this around them is going to be helped in being healed. Now we're going into some exoteric thing that people don't understand. Maybe people don't want to understand because it's a kind of magic thing, which I love. Do you know which time you I were born? Know. Of course. Which when were you when were you born? What time of the day? Which I don't believe is the truth time, you know, because in sixty five it's like what? Nine forty five, it's too precise. In the morning or in the afternoon? Morning. Have you have you had the natal chart done to you? No, of course. What do you think? I'm just I read tarot. I'm studying feng shui. Of course, I know my astrology. No, it's interesting. No, I'm Why? asking because this, this is actually a plug for our second episode that we did with. Uh, it was second or third. It was the second actually that we did with Anna Palmer, uh, which is an amazing woman from uh, Napoli herself, and um, she's among many things an astrologer, and uh, she made my natal chart. It was actually very interesting. Um, yeah, yeah, uh, uh, yeah. Are are you? What are you gonna do with this symbol? Are you gonna make any sculpture? Any? I did. I did. I have sculptures. I have videos. I have pictures. I have actually one hanging in my uh, one of my rooms in my home that is in um, blown glass. Nice. Quite amazing. Yes. Nice. Do you but I did them? a lot. I did. I did. I did. So okay, d- d- going back to what you were saying, coming here, right? Um, I wanted to come here. Well, no. I wanted to go to live in New York. Mm-hmm. And I had a friend that already said, look, you can stay with me for as long as you want. And then another friend that said, you can use my uh, garden shack as your studio. So I was I was going to pursue the art, um, which is not only this. This is like the core of what I was doing. I was painting. I was doing sculptures, uh, installations. I was ex- experimenting as usual. And then um, something else happened. Love brought me to come here. Mm -hmm. And I said, okay, let's go. Let's try art here in 2007 was no. So I went into the design. And that's what I get. No, this this I remember. I remember from our failed podcast. Which, by the way, I don't. I don't. <laughs> I, will, I, don't I, will, I don't. I don't. I don't hold the grudge because actually, for the, the first. I will ask him help, and maybe we can adjust it, and we can publish no, it. No, 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 no. I think. Why? I think. I think this is look. There are certain things that are meant to be failures. Like, for example, the first two episodes of this podcast, we scrapped them because they, they, they just had technical problems. So it's fine. I mean, I just, I just like to poke you in there with this, but it's fine. Um, no, of course it's but, fine. But, yeah. but I, do, I, do, I do like it uh, in... Uh, I do like what I imagine of this sculpture you, in, you in really glass. <laughs> sorry, but you really put the picture that I sent to you from my fucking computer. <laughs> that, that's, the only, that's the only thing you sent me. Is True. It, is okay, the okay. That's yeah, me? we are naked, as you said. Exactly. So you were saying, sorry, I interrupted you. Uh, no, no, no. What I was asking is, I, I actually, this is, this is in, I'm very interested in seeing the piece in blown glass. So please send me a picture because I, would, I love sculptures. Now I'm trying to get to change to a bigger home. So maybe I, maybe I do, I do. Let's say I know. allow blow, myself to be a bit fancy. My love, forget it. Mm-hmm. It's impossible. That I had to sign with blood mm-hmm. to this guy. That he had to have one that I had to sign. And then he would give this to me for a special price. Otherwise, it w- it's impossible. No, it's expensive. It's no, but I will show you the pictures that I have, actually. They're, they're kind of nice. No, no, please, please, please. I'm super interested. And these, they can be printed uh, with backgrounds. Yeah, maybe I'll, I'll take them back. I don't know. I don't know what to do right now. It's okay. It's okay. Let, let's, go, let's go back a, a little bit to, to, to your life. My girlfriend <laughs> takes takes a lot of time for me. My, my your house. Mm. Uh, with a pecore. Um, <laughs> I don't have any. <laughs> <coughs> How did you feel coming from um, I d- I, uh, the idealistic world, which is what I, I as as I imagine art is, to a very transactional s- industry oh. such as design? No, look, art is a monster that is like with a cape of. Uh, Oh, we are so emotional and, you know, we go really into the depth of meaning of things in life. Bullshit. Hmm. It's all about how much you have to make your galleries to earn or how, how much you can sell. Artists is one thing. Art is another thing. Did you feel comfortable with within that realm? No, not realm? at all. Zero. What about, d- did you feel better when, when you moved to the sign? 
because uh, for everyone that maybe yes. doesn't know Stefano Tordiglione, which, you know, shame on you. Um, Stefano, if I'm not mistaken, you did a lot of the retail outlets of uh, many fashion brands, especially the one that comes to my mind is Brooks Brothers, no? Yeah, yeah that's a sad story because it um, was a happy story, but a sad andi- ending because it went bankrupt. Not because of me, but they're still selling. So they, someone bought the company. I imagine. Yeah, it's another group, but I don't. Yeah, I, I, I don't. I mean, yes, I do work aside with that. But the, the nice, the nice um, part that is worth talking about is that everything c- came out of um, by chance. I was extremely happy. I desire that, you know, the the laws of attraction is true. I really asked a friend of mine, do you know anybody in Brooks Brothers? Because she lives in America. She knows a lot of people. I was like, do you know anybody? Because, you know, I think they need something. Of course, I don't know anyone. Mm. And then after like 10 days, they call me. I was like... Come on, you really you I <laughs> called her saying, You you moved somebody. It's like what? They call me from Brooks Brothers. Are you kidding me? So they called me out of nowhere. And yes, I do believe in law of attraction at this point because I really wanted it and it came. As Jung says. Ah, okay. <coughs> I thought um What now? What are you up where are you up to now? What are, what, how are you apart from you know the the rich the rich uh, woman that you are uh, portraying yourself to be? Uh, what what are you up to right now in terms of in terms of you know work design? Um, what do you enjoy doing? I don't know. I mean, I don't know. Mode. Is this podcast going to <laughs> inspire you to go back to creating content? Oh wow! You want to have like an important part of my mm. life? Mm. No, I, I look. I, I think I think it's. Uh, I, I felt that you were very happy with it. Look, I'm so maybe <laughs> so <laughs> coming here. No, for no. creating content. Um, for uh, coming here, you, you are you look, are very miserable. Okay, uh, okay. Um, um, so, first of all, I'm happy to be here because I think you are an intelligent person emotional and mostly your emotion in the sense emotivo no so you tend to understand the other mm-hmm. which is great which Thank is you. very rare with people even if you know uh maybe apparently you can look like a you know, superficial i do <laughs> I, it's, 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 it's not the first time actually that someone has said that to me and i do take um, it as a compliment but that's that's great though no as me i always wanted to be in, uh, you know an angry face and not be like a good al- as a loaf of bread, my vaffanculo. But anyways, poor thing, he was trying to say something nice, but I don't, um, I don't agree because I'm an open book. So going back, <sighs> bigger content creator, do you realize how many things are around? Mm-hmm. I'm very much aware that to be successful, not necessarily outside but to be successful with what you want to do Mm -hmm. is something that you have to like see yourself not underwater with all the other fish but a little bit outside and see what's around so to be different forced doesn't make sense Mm -hmm. so to be different you have to be different in inside we go back to the subconscious so that your identity has to come out Mm-hmm. And now I don't know who I know who I am. Of course I know, but I don't know what I what I want. I don't know. <coughs> so I I, re- I do really don't do know. Do you think you're gonna I'm find a bit out? Confused. Think of course I out? will. Yes. It's a matter of time. Actually, it's a time that is ticking. Um, that I know it's gonna happen soon. But I n- I need. Yes, maybe you're right. Maybe this is gonna like uh, tickle. A bit of my ego somehow. Competition. No. Now, 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 my first goal, my first goal is to have more subscribers than F- Stefano Tordiglione, by the way, um, within a couple easily. of months. No, it's t- it's super tough. Eh? People don't give a people don't give a crap about content, and probably they shouldn't actually, uh, because you know. It's all about look like art. Damien <coughs> Hurst. Mm-hmm. My God, Tanto, he's never going to see this podcast. I love him to death. I mean, I really love the guy the way he does things his concept about death mm-hmm. which is like ugh. 
it, it, it gives me goosebumps, okay? Since the beginning. Then he started doing things and doing things and doing things. And now he's overdoing things. So where, wh what's he doing? Where is the end goal? Yes. You know? So identity, you don't have to like over overdo. So to go in my in my work, what I what I did, what I do in design is really mm, what I want as well to communicate to others, and then it could be as well um, another podcast identity and belonging, which I use already the word belonging. That I say yes, our subconscious, but you know some people are like what the fuck is what subconscious what is this guy so heavy you know we gotta live life we gotta eat and drink and fuck you know no because then you die and then you live what right if you get together with your subconscious it means that you know who you really are so identity is the most important thing and remember fernando if you have a big strong identity with your podcast people want to belong to that so they want to hear it they want to listen to it they want to watch it they want to be part of it Yes, I think our identity is growing. It's like a baby. I think it's something that we are. We we just gave birth. Uh, then uh, at the beginning we didn't know even how to walk. Now we started to stumble, uh, learning how to eat with a spoon, uh, and starting to say our first words. But uh, but most I think the the key thing for us when we started this and it's hard to do it because even now that we have very little viewers, I still. Every every day or so, I still take a look at how many how many people watch the videos, which I promised myself I wouldn't, because we want we want to create the identity just by having fun and enjoying and having a good time, which is what we tried. Are you have did you have a good time today? But may I say something? Of course. I think it's normal that you watch how many and who's following, but it's not about the number. No, it's about the quality. First of all, mm -hmm. and second of all, it's not going to change all of a sudden because you interview maybe a person that has already one million followers that's the thing that is gonna is gonna make you like grow like uh, boost but the most important thing is as you were saying to publish these little things that uh, you know these reels are nice because they're random and they appear to you mm -hmm. so if you go there and it's not even you know your choice it's a it's a thing that comes out boom and it's about luck too. It is about luck. Um, you know um, what we will do with this video, whenever, when with this podcast, when we finish, um, we will edit the long form. We will create some clips based on what Filippo is is writing right now, and then there is a different software that we are using um, to create shorts. So there is this AI, this arti artificial brain that chooses for us ten highlight moments of the podcast which ones which ones do you think the machine is going to choose from you oh my god i remember what i said <laughs> which is a, which is a very 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 good sign um filippo <coughs> filippo is the is the judge filippo is salomon of this podcast um how do we wrap up this what do you what did you think about the conversation Tell me, which and, uh, uh, what, what things do you... What, but what do we have the time or no? We have as I mean, we have as much time as possible, but... but um, I took the I whole afternoon for you. <laughs> uh, I wish I had the afternoon no. for you as well. Yeah. Uh, but pff, my life is very, is very, is very unglamorous. Um, which, which areas would you like to go a little bit deeper into, Filippo? Well, next time we can talk more about identity. Okay. We can talk more about the point of legacy. And mm. Healing. Um, how do we heal ourselves? Being one with your subconscious. I'm really strong with that. And that replies to your identity. Uh, question. And uh, coming out. And in, the current in a brand. Look. Sorry? Oh, that identity! Oh my God! That yes, uh, just for for the people. Can you reconcile the two? 
yes, for the, for the people that maybe didn't uh, can, are not hearing very well because we are a little bit late in ordering the. Are uh, you have okay? What? Never mind. We c- we we cut we cut this part. Please reply no, to no, him. No 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 no. no. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. There is, this was a, a technological misalignment. But so okay. Um. So identity, the sexual identity, this thing of men and women. I have my own ideas, but I talk as a 58-year-old, so I am not a 15-year-old. So with, I talk with my niece and my 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 um, nephews. <sighs> they have their ideas. I, I I don't I don't agree because I think we, you know, unless you have an issue with I'm all out of focus. Is that normal? No. Uh, let's do like this. So yes, yes. You 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 were mentioning. Sorry. <laughs> So, so, so the idea. If you touch on the, I, I show you a trick. So, okay. Okay. I don't know. It is. It, we. It does just this just uh, sometime. Yes. No, just I wanted to make uh, clear that these glasses not to be cool, but it's because they're. You look cool. You look fucking yeah, but cool. I don't, I don't see. I mean, this is our prescription. But I came from outside. <laughs> so, um, so identity, uh, 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 a man is a man, a woman is a woman. Yes. Um, there are some uh, situations where a man feels be like being like a woman inside and vice versa. Mm-hmm. So I do understand that too. Uh, it's hard to really understand because if you're not like that... You really have to trust and, and believe and see, you know. So I am for freedom. So people can choose whatever they want. As long as um, it doesn't become um, a way of not being yourself wholly, that's a very dangerous zone. Uh, so I do believe that people sometimes, even in the suffering, they choose something. Not the case of people that you know, they do suffer around, so they want to make their sex change or this thing of calling they. I think it's a bit too much, but that's me. I s- I I'm a I bit I afraid of saying these things. But no, 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 no. You can say whatever. I, I, I honestly, I think, I think. No, reasonab- I think re- no, no, no. But I think reason- reasonable people. Um, with good intentions, we have the duty to speak out because uh, I think all of us are a little bit scared of showing views that uh, might not be welcomed by certain extremists on the internet. Um, what I believe, I think, I think th- you said at the beginning something extremely interesting uh, uh, that I want to bring back. Um, and I think it's the, the, the complete point, it, it joins the identity question. You mentioned, you know, especially talking about sex. I think it's something private. Um, the, the mistake of nowadays society, as per my view, is that we try to put we try to make boxes and we make a f- finite number of boxes seven eight fourteen forty eight but we make a finite number whereas normally biology is a range biology is chaos and biology is a range and there are let's say a sumature no there are gradients of of different people a- and everyone belongs to different gradient is I, I will even go even, even a little bit deeper for example the dichotomy gay heterosexual um I think I th- I th- I think I think it's extremely stupid because uh, I think there is inside every animal any any living entity th- there are um, there is one impulse of reproducing themselves and then there there is the impulse of expressing themselves sexually and sometimes they overlap sometimes they don't overlap uh, sometimes some people have maybe ninety percent tendency th- to same sex or vice versa. Uh, or the contrary, what I would say. And we try, and I think we haven't reached the peak of virtue because we haven't, we, we, we don't accept that being something so complex, the only um, sensitive thing to do is just to keep it in the private sphere. I do understand that tolerance is important. So we need to make a point that um, gay people they are perfectly human and they ha- they need to have the same rights which is not something that you know maybe 100 years ago was common 
Uh, and I and, and, and women did not have the rights. Hundred people did not have the rights. So. Exactly. Uh, I think that you know it's 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 wrong to bully uh, a trans uh, person. It's uh, wrong to bully anyways. Exactly, but at the same time, we just need to understand that as much as 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 long as we have tolerance, we need to leave private things for the private <laughs> sphere. So okay. Uh, there is this is a very very dangerous zone I call it because it's not because of people out there it's just because people that are inside the issues right so people that feel they are women or men and they're not sexually like that or they want to be called that they um, again I think it's important to leave freedom to people right even if you don't agree because it's not your business and as long as you don't create issues in the freedom of others so if i want to be called mezcal and people call me mezcal yeah people call me mezcal if they don't want to call me mezcal you know, people don't call me mezcal patience i'm called stefano but people call me with nicknames or people don't want to call me or people are going to hate me people love me i cannot choose i just have to make my own choices mm -hmm. and come out as much as possible in life not sexually because who the fuck cares who i am and who I go to bed with, right? The person that goes to bed with you. That's the only one who should care. Exactly. So, the so okay. So wrapping up that thing of um, identity. Identity is a struggle between you and you. So that's the thing that is very important, and this is why I think identity goes with the couple thing as well. So my friends that are getting divorced, mm -hmm. maybe. They're gonna, their ears are going to be uh, whistling, but that's how we say in Italy. I don't know if it's the I think common sense. I think, yeah, everyone understands. Yeah, so uh, it's because the identity of each one of them, it was not complete. Mm -hmm. They think so, but I don't, I don't believe that. So the belonging in that relationship becomes and comes true and real only if you have a very strong identity. But this relates to my job with retail business retail if you don't have a strong identity mm -hmm. you're not going to sell your stuff for long because your life is going to be really short and the belonging means that i want to buy something of that because i want to belong to that brand i want to be recognized why chanel hermes they're famous yes because they're they're cool and recognized but they're recognized because they have a strong identity period you can do whatever if you have a strong identity you can even be called they but you're going to have a strong identity. I agree. I so agree. I going agree back to what you were saying, just to, to, to finish, the sexual thing. Sure, if, if you want to talk to me about my, my sexual preferences or yours or his, I don't think it's that interesting unless I want to have a sexual experience with you. Then maybe it's interesting. I agree. But then, as you were saying, the spectrum of shades of greys, like Van Gogh was saying that there is so many grades i don't i don't want to say any number but there's like a hundred and more shades of grays that is not the same gray and that's who we are especially human beings are much more sophisticated than animals animals have their 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 sexual experiences and uh, with the same sex or not the same sex for power for dominating for whatever and they're like two or three animals species that are together like the penguins or right and that, that they, they are with them the rest of their lives, which is really cute. I don't think we're like that at all. Mm -hmm. So the spectrum, yes, I don't care. The, the het we have to reach the moment where there is no word of being gay or being heterosexual. That should not be said. Yes. I'm a person that loves or tries to love and eventually has an encounter with the other person not necessarily, you know, um, with uh, wordings, but with our sex, sure. Yes. It's going to happen once, twice, a <laughs> hundred times. So you're not going to, you cannot live having sex all the time. I think we are a bit higher than that. So maybe that's my age. Probably I'm we are becoming prob asexual. Probably, probably we are a little bit old for that. Uh, <sighs> uh, no, uh, St that St Stefano, I, I invite you to always be the judge of our identity and whether we are growing or not so i hope you subscribe to the podcast if people like already. this 
If people like this podcast, they should actually uh, subscribe too. Uh, and if you like it, or actually, if you don't like it, but you want to get a discount and you go all the way to here, go to winenot.com.hk. Uh, Filippo, I think we did well. He, uh, you know, Stefano is, is like the good things. Something that is tough because <coughs> you need to be quite flexible when it comes to the conversation. But I feel like I, I, ha- I had a lot of fun. Um, However, the podcast is not mine. This podcast, this episode is about you. So I want to give you the last word of the podcast. So please, this is your camera. So look to it, uh, wrap it up, tell people what you're up to, what you want to do, what your dreams are, or just tell them to go fuck themselves, if that's what you feel like. No, why? Jesus says something nice. Don't do the the others what you don't want to be done to yourself, right? So go with that. (laughs) Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you very much, everyone. The last meeting of the week. Although today is not a Friday, you will listen to this on Friday, the what's this Friday? That's like the, f- the 3rd of November, um, which means that you will have an amazing weekend on the 4th and 5th. It's always super nice to see you. Let's not wait another day. Okay. Uh, Filippo Sebastian. Thank you. Thank Grazie. you very much. Uh, and everyone be happy. And be true to yourself. I think the message today it was actually quite bad. Let's just enjoy it. Thank you. A better world. Huh? A better world. And if you put Pascal from why not put it